Hey, hi guys. So let's look at the next question from CAT 2021 slot one uh, from algebra inequality chapter. So this question says that f x is equal to x square plus two x minus fifteen upon this value and this is negative. If and only if means which of the following conditions is satisfied? These are the options here. Okay. So I need to find this negative. So what I'll do here is so I'll just put x square plus two x minus fifteen divided by x square minus seven x minus eighteen. And that should be less than zero. Correct. So now, uh, if 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 this uh, a by b is less than zero, so thing is actually how it goes. If a by b is less than zero, it's negative, right? That basically means that I don't know the value here of this is b. It is positive or negative. Negative that I don't know. Okay. So I can just simply quad uh, this. Uh, I just I just solve this quadratic here actually. So I just solve this. I, that is x square uh, plus two x minus fifteen. So it should be five and three. Plus five x minus three x minus fifteen divided by x square minus uh, nine minus nine and two. Okay, so I can take nine and two here. Minus nine x plus two x minus eighteen. That is less than zero. So x into x plus five minus three into x plus five is uh, upon x into x minus nine plus two. Again, you can take common x minus nine. That is less than zero. So now x minus three into x plus five upon x plus two into x minus nine, and this should be less than zero. So how it goes like actually? So once you have this kind of equation actually, so what you can do is uh, it actually in books what they normally do they just write the critical points here, okay? But the general funda in, in such is because I don't know this denominator. This a by b, this is negative or positive that I don't know, okay? Or because uh, I can check by discriminant also, but in this case, if I calculate d, if you see, if there is x square minus seven x minus eighteen, if I try to calculate d here, so d is equal to b square minus four ac. That is, uh, that is b square minus four ac. That means it is some forty nine and minus eighteen minus of minus eighteen. So d is positive, right? So if d is positive, that means D is positive and A is positive. Okay, so for any quality equation, so I cannot say for some you know, some value will be negative for some value will be positive. Okay, had had in this case if there was a quality equation in which uh, D was less than zero. Okay, so that's what I was, I was trying to explain with uh, this concept here. If for some if for the quality equation, for example, there is a quality equation here, H square plus B X plus C equal to zero. Okay. And for this, the d is somehow d comes out to be less than zero. If you calculate discriminant, it comes out to be less than zero. And then a is positive. That means this quadratic is always positive. Okay, its graph is basically like this, always above x-axis because d is less than zero means roots are imaginary. Imaginary roots means they won't cut anywhere in real axis. Okay, that means I cannot I cannot cancel I cannot uh, uh, I cannot have any negative values here. Okay. That way it will always be positive. So once I know that it is always positive, so what I can do? I can simply cross multiply here, and this into zero becomes zero. Okay, so that's the funda. But here because d is positive, so I cannot. I don't. For some value it will be positive. For some value it will be negative. So directly I cannot solve it. Okay, so that's how you need to uh, understand this. So blindly in any time don't uh, solve this question blindly. Just take check for the numerator. Any time the numerator uh, will maybe always be positive. Okay, so in that case you can directly cross multiply, and question becomes very very easy after that. Okay. So okay, now let's solve it. Okay, so now here it is not the case because we have got two roots for some value positive, for some value value negative. So what we do actually? So in denominator we don't know it is positive or negative. So concept here is what we do? We multiply numerator and denominator by the same thing actually. So x minus three into x plus five, and then we multiply by x plus two and x minus nine in numerator and denominator. Okay, so it becomes like this: x plus two whole square. And x minus nine whole square. Okay, and then it becomes less than zero. Correct. Now it is always because it is square, now it is always positive. So once it is always positive, so I can just cross multiply this here, and it becomes uh, permanently zero uh, or always zero, right? It just becomes zero. So what I can write now: x minus three into x plus five uh, into x plus two into x minus nine is less than zero. So when you have this step in mind, so directly uh, you can see in books that when you write this test, directly make that number line. Okay, so these are my critical points here. What are my critical points? For example, in this case, uh, this is x minus three, so it should be one, should be three. I start from the most negative one. If I equate this to zero, minus five. Equate this to zero, minus two. Equate this to zero, three, and equate this to zero, nine. Okay, this is plus infinity. This is minus infinity. That's how it is. Okay. 
So now we can just check it. So obviously, if you put the largest value here, so let's say for example, if I put a uh, uh, largest value means let's say put at uh, ten here. So if I put ten here in this x equal to ten, so you can see that it is positive, 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 and positive. So at ten is it positive? So in one range, if it is positive, so blindly what I can do is because all the powers are odd here. So what I can do is blindly I can write positive, negative, positive, negative in alternate ranges. Take it, negative and then positive. So what what ranges I got for negative actually I got my negative range is what minus five say minus two and a three to nine okay so what I can write is x belongs to minus five say minus two correct and union three to nine okay that means this small bracket means this minus five and minus two are not included so obviously we have less than zero here no equality sign that means it is not included okay so uh, this is the answer x belongs to minus five to minus two and three to nine. We'll see which option uh, will satisfy this actually. So A option, right? So A is the answer for this question. Okay. So that's how in uh, there's a complete concept behind such questions. Okay. Thank you.